Let me just um, go over some of the things that's happened here. Um, it's been how many days? It's been almost a little over a week now. And let me just say, my trip thus far had been fantastic. My Minneapolis wedding in Minnesota was unreal, just because I think it was the most wedding-like wedding I've ever had. Technically, since 2002, really? but I didn't start actively until like four years ago or three years ago. Oh my gosh! We gathered here in the presence of God, friends, and family to celebrate the love which Maria, the Korean bride, and Vlad have for each other. I, Vlad, take you to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, as long as the Mall of America exists to remind us that we can always buy our love with fancy jewelry and clothing until death do us part. So ladies and gentlemen, having exchanged vows and rings in front of you, I am honored to present to you for the very first time, Maria the Korean Bride and Vlad. Today, today is July 23rd and I'm here right now in Abilene, Kansas. <laughs> And as far as Iowa, Iowa, Iowa wedding was once again another huge big success. I think it was the most poetic wedding I've ever had. Reverends I had initially contacted had no luck. So we're coming up with vows. We're rolling! Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join this man and this woman in matrimony. Andrew, do you take this woman to be your wife, to live together in matrimony, to love, to honor, comfort her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live. I do. From the heart of Iowa, may I present Mr. and Ms. Maria, the Korean Bride. Medals after this, right? 
So they have still in the brown color family, but they begin to compare me with this. Get ready. in Asia, the parents, they live their lives through their children. When their children succeed, when their children achieve something, it becomes their um, achievement. It's like there is no healthy, um, how do I say, line distinguishing between the parents and the children. I have carried that uh, pressure for a long time. I'm always paranoid. I'm paranoid that I am going to have a flat tire. Well, guess what? This was the year for me. It started out with low tire pressure. Leakage on not just two, but four of my tires, and then a flat. But it's okay. Because Wayne came to my rescue in Waterloo, Iowa. Oh my God! So what does that mean? Mine good. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. You're 35. Are you um, Are you just traveling everywhere or what? Um, yes, I'm an artist. Oh, really? So I'm exploring America, oh. provided I don't have flat tires. That is really. Oh my goodness! You're brave. Thank you. I try, <laughs> but not with the blading I mean, tires. I'm here to uh, West Coast, I thought I was doing something. <laughs> <laughs> Take care now. Okay, so this one was really low. It was 15. Yeah, you're up to 25 now. Yep. So what does that mean if the tire's that low? That that, that means you're going to... The ass end of your car is going to... You can lose control. And I could, I could get killed. Yeah. You can so I'm end good. up going around a curve, and then you can maybe run right smack into a semi. But all this pumping reminds me of my room in Oklahoma. <laughs> Despite the pack, oh, don't get the wrong idea. <laughs> Despite the pack. <laughs> Despite the pack. <laughs> get over it, okay. Despite the fact, you guys, um, my marriage was um, a bit challenging, and you'll see why. I am so glad I found him on Highway 16. <laughs> so I'd like you to meet him now. Okay, so this is the story. I've been driving around trying to look for a manual oil pumper. I think it's called jack hammer, hammer oil. I forget the terminology. Anyhow, later on for that educational component. I was driving on I Interstate 16, which leads to the main highway, and I guess God was calling. There's one just pumping by itself, and it's actually working. So I'm like, I think that pump is supposed to be my groom, so I'm going to marry it here in Oklahoma where oil is plenty and gas price I've seen as low as $3.72. So you can't beat that compared to New York, right? Sometimes I wonder why am I doing this? You throw it all around, boy you smell good. And then you <laughs> <laughs> There's a brand new Walmart. <laughs> I said that was my sweat. You said that's sweet sweat. <laughs> you can only imagine, Stan and I had a whole blast. At the end of the night, he even bought me a spaghetti. 